uh, Kiz Daniel uh, alitakiwa ali kuperform siku ya tarehe saba lakini haikufanikiwa najua kuna madhara mengi watu wameumia wameumia uh, probably psychologically uh, lakini at the end of the day uh, sisi tunahakikishia kwamba uh, Kiz Daniel ataongea na nyie na ata, atawaambia ukweli wote ulotokea siku ya tarehe saba na labda anaweza kawa surprise na vitu vingine vikubwa zaidi uh, kwa upande wa Kiz Daniel uh, kuna mambo mengi sana vimesemwa vitu vingi sana vimesemwa lakini ukweli uko hapa Kiz Daniel uh, talk to the people of Tanzania please all right um uh, mambo poa right. poa <laughs> oh, okay <laughs> i just learned that um good evening to everybody thank you for coming out and um we want to apologize for keeping you guys waiting um so i would like to start from the get go i was contacted uh, sorry contracted by an agency you know back home to perform here in Tanzania August 7th I was supposed to be in Uganda August 6th so I felt okay well it's only nice to uh, you know drop in and say hello to my Tanzanian people I had an amazing time in Uganda it was a great show you know made friends with the media and all that so um the agency reached out and advised that um, the promoter in charge of the show here in Tanzania already booked, uh, booked a flight for me to leave Uganda it's a connecting flight to leave Uganda um, on the 8th morning of the 8th oh sorry 7th morning of the 7th to come straight to um, Tanzania, Dar es Salaam. Did I pronounce that right? Yes, yeah, Dar es Salaam. Salaam. Okay, cool. Dar es Salaam. Dar es Salaam. Okay. It's a beautiful uh, city, by the way. Oh uh, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> beautiful people too. And people love you. I know so much. I know. <laughs> All right. So, um, I I left the um, the hotel at Uganda like exactly like 6 a.m. in the morning. I head straight to the airport. Cut the flight, but unfortunately. The, um, the airline delayed the flight like an hour in Uganda. But we still got on the plane and then we flew into Nairobi, Kenya. On getting to um, Kenya, the connecting flight from Kenya to Dar es Salaam left. So uh, I, uh, we communicated um, this to the organizers, you know, the promoters of the show, that this is the situation right now. As it is, we can't be, because we got to Nairobi 12 o'clock, 12 p.m., 12 noon. And um, we communicated to the organizers and the promoters that, look, this is the situation on ground. The flight got delayed, so we missed the connecting flight. What's the situation? Can we still make the show? Oh yes, and they, they, um, they confirmed to me that they can get the next available flight to Dar es Salaam um, for 9.45, 9.45, oh sorry, 8.45 p.m., 8.50, for 8.50 p.m. It's supposed to be 6, and then 8.50. Oh, okay, yeah, 8.50 p.m. So I was in Nairobi, Kenya for eight hours. I was at the airport. You know, at the lounge at the airport, it was filled up with people, by the way, because a lot of the flight got cancelled and got delayed that day. So we 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 managed to stay in Nairobi for eight hours. The time 8:45, we got on the plane, we flew straight to Dar es Salaam. We got to Dar es Salaam. I think we landed around past 11. Um, About midnight. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 around midnight. Yeah. So unfortunately, getting to Dar es Salaam, we realized that the airlines forgot our bags in Nairobi. 
Kenya along some of the equipment we'll be needing for the performance that night. The gears, the costumes and all that. So we communicated yet again to the organizers that did look, this is the situation on ground. We spoke to the airlines that showed us that, okay, fine, we'll get the bags, we'll try and work how we can find the bags and get them across to you. So um, the organizer that showed me that I can still be on stage by 3 a.m. in the morning. <coughs> so I, I worked um, with them on that and said, okay, no problem. I'll compromise. We can let go of that. Let's go. Mm, let's, let's make the show happen. So. We, we left the airport, we got to the hotel at around 1.30 in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, we got to the, the hotel at around 1.30 in the morning. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, okay. You good, bro? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> All right, cool. So, we, uh, so I sent my, my band to, to the venue, and yeah, of course, to, to get everything settled for the performance, to do the sound check, although I was supposed to be there, because mm -hmm. that's how I do my sound check. There are videos of me doing my sound check in Uganda. It was me, my band, and some of the fans. We had fun, it was good. So I said, okay, fine. I'll stay back because I realized that the fans were already at the venue. Like thousands of the fans were there already waiting for me to perform, waiting for me to get on stage. You know, so it wouldn't be advisable for me to go down there to do the sound check. So I sent the band over to make sure, okay, let's see what we can make do. Let's see what we can do with uh, the available setup. Unfortunately, they were rushed off the stage because the fans already are supposed to be in the venue. So the band came back with the bad news to the hotel. No problem, the show must go on. We contacted a couple of stylists here in Tanzania, you know, because, of course, I left Uganda like in the morning, like six in the morning, and then uh, I was drenched already. Yeah, like I was drenched already in what I was wearing. I was wearing this pair of slides, my uh, shorts, and uh, Nagbada, you know. <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> yeah, so I was drenched, and I needed to freshen up, at least, you know, to be able to put up a great show for the Tanzanian people. So we, we, we got a couple of stylists, uh, and we were, we were doing the fitting back at the hotel. And then, coupled up with that, there were some unresolved issues between the agency back home and the promoter. And we were also trying to settle that on the side. Time was going, and then it was past the time for performance, and um, when we actually decided, when we actually came to an agreement that, okay, fine, let's do this for the fans. Let's go on with the show. I don't mind. I'll wear my slides. I'll look this way, and I'll go for the show. The, um, the, um, the, there was, uh, the, the venue was already, you know, the people were already going wild. The fans were already going wild, which I know is out of love. No disrespect to the fans. And then I was advised to stay back. You know, you can't go. It's not safe or whatever. So I said, okay. I sat down with the team, the organizers, the promoters. Let's come up with a way, you know, to make, to make it up to the Tanzanian fans. And then we, we decided to do a makeup show for free this time. I even decided to, I even agreed to partner with them this time, you know, to make the show go on. So we said, okay, in the morning we put out a statement, we apologize to the fans, we are all tired, let's get some rest. In the morning, daybreak, we put out a statement and address this issue and everything will be solved. But unfortunately, by morning, the whole issue blow, has already been blown up out of proportion. The law got involved due to the... Um, vandalism. Yeah, vandalism. So um, the police came by to my hotel, take me in for questioning, 
he wasn't an arrest, that, by the way. So they took me in for questioning uh, as to why my name keeps coming up. You know, how are you connected to the destruction of this property? So I, I went in, I gave my statement, and here we are. I still sat down with the promoters and the organizers and say, you know what? I love my people in Tanzania. They've been supporting my music. But that was, was number one here when I released it too. And I, yeah, even the official video for Buga had the flag of Tanzania in it. Absolutely. Yeah. 2015, yeah. I have been. Yeah, <laughs> I've been here 2015. I've been here. I come here. I went to Zanzibar. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I was here. I've, I come here often, like, you know, to chill and have fun because I love the people of Tanzania, obviously. Good energy, good vibe, you know. So, yeah. I sat down with um, Straight Up Vibes, my brother Montana, and I told him, you know what? The show must go on. Regardless of the press out there, regardless of the news out there, regardless of whatever it is that is flying out, flying out around there, let's make this happen. So we, we came to an agreement to, um, to put up a show on, on Friday. On Friday, yeah? Is it this Friday or next Friday? No, this one. All oh, right, cool. This is Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so this Friday, and a free show, by the way. Mm -hmm. So I will be partnering with Straight Up Vibes to make that happen. And also, I must apologize to the fans. None of this was intentional. I love my job. Especially, I love performing. I'm a great entertainer. <laughs> so I love performing, I love my job. So none of this was intentional. I didn't mean to disrespect yeah. The fans, most especially the fans, it was never intentional. I wanted to perform. I came to Tanzania to perform. But due to some circumstances way over my power, we couldn't make that happen. I apologize once again to the people of Tanzania. And I hope you guys give me another chance to give you a show. My guy, you're shining. <laughs> yeah, so I hope you guys give me another chance to make it up to you, to give you a proper show, a beautiful show. Thank you very much.